Gabriel Bono de Mobley, Grenoble, the 14th of March 1709 to the 2nd of April 1785 in Paris, sometimes known as Abbé de Mobley, was a French philosopher, historian, and writer who for a short time served in the diplomatic corps. He was a popular 18th century writer. Topic: <inaudible> Biography. <inaudible> <inaudible> Mobley was born to a noble legal family bearing the surname Bono. He had an older brother Jean and, with him, preferred to be called after the family's property at Mobley, Loire, so they both took de Mobley in their names. His younger brother Etienne preferred to be called after another family property, at Condillac, Drome. Condillac also became a noted writer and philosopher. As was typical of men of their class, Mobley's education included a Jesuit college. Early on, he pursued an ecclesiastical career, enrolling in a seminary at St. Sulpice. He abandoned that path to enter the diplomatic corps in 1742. His diplomatic career was a short one, ending in 1746. Afterwards, he focused on scholarly pursuits, for which he became the most known. Mobley and his family had a great influence on Jean-Jacques Rousseau. Rousseau at the age of 37, thanks to the connections of his patron Mie de Warrens, secured a job as tutor for two of the sons of his brother Jean Bono de Mobley who was then the provost general of police in the Lyon region. Both Gabriel Bono de Mobley and his brother Condillac visited their brother and got to know Rousseau. The historian Leo Damrosk explains that at this time, Abbé de Mobley had just published a treatise comparing Roman institutions of government with French ones and celebrating the progress of civilization. Conversing with Mobley, Condillac, and friends he had met at Lyon's Reading Club, Parizzo, Bords, and their friends, Rousseau found himself in a stimulating intellectual milieu, and the studies he had put himself through in Chambéry suddenly came to life. Rousseau would remain lifelong friends with Mobley and his family. Both Mobley and his brother Condillac visited Rousseau when he moved to Montmorency, Val d'Oise. Rousseau later reflected upon his experience tutoring Mobley's nephews in writing the book Emile, or on education. Writings Mobley's most well-known work is Entretien's Devotion, a dialogue first published in 1763, which introduced themes of his mature thought. Two of his works were published posthumously and they had a profound effect on the early deliberations on the assembly of the Estates General of 1789, an enlarged version of his Histoire de France first published in 1765, which was published in May 1789 to great acclaim. Authorities tried unsuccessfully to suppress it by confiscating many copies. Secondly, Des Droits et des Devoirs du Citoyen, written in 1758, was also published after his death. He warned against events that later developed during the French Revolution. These two works were seen to contribute to the later concepts of both communism and republicanism. He advocated the abolition of private property, which he saw as incompatible with sympathy and altruism, and conductive only to one's antisocial or egotistical instincts. Mobley's writings contain a paradox, he praises elitist Plato, but also the enlightened Stoic views on natural human equality. Mobley went further than the traditional Stoic argument that all men possessed a divine spark. He also went beyond the liberal concept of equality before the law, and argued for the equality of needs. He argued that virtue was more valued than the acquisition or possession of material wealth, and criticized idleness. He found an audience among those who were critical of the inherited wealth and privilege of the nobility, who did no work. Mobley's complete works were published in 15 volumes in 1794–1795, with an obituary, biography by Gabriel Brizard. List of 18 published works by Gabriel Bono de Mobley Posthumous publications of individual works, published in 1786–1794 Posthumous complete works to 1795 Recent translations in English by Simone de Vries concerning the rights and duties of the citizen, Comtal Publications, 2008 ISBN 0-9557974-0-3 Letters to Madame the Marchioness of P asterisk 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 
asterisk asterisk on the Opera, Comtal Publications, 2010 ISBN 978 0 one 5 Topic Further reading Johnson Kent Wright, A Classical Republican in Eighteenth-Century France, The Political Thought of Mobley Stanford University Press, 1997. V. I. Garrier, L'Abbé de Mobley, Moraliste et Politique, Paris, 1886. Mobley's work is catalogued at the French National Library. Charles Philippe Dijon de Montetin, Der Lange Chaton des Abbé Bono de Mobley. Divergenzen und Analogien Seines Denkens in der Politischen Theorie des Grafen Sias, in, Tila, U. ed., Volksouveränität und Freiheitsrecht. Emanuel Joseph C. is Staatsverstandne, Nomos, Baden Baden, 2009, S43-110 References topic External links The French Revolution and the Socialist Tradition, Early French Communists, History Guide Conversations with Fauchin, The Political Thought of Mobley, History of Political Thought, 1992, Volume 13, No. 3, pp. 391-415 25, J. K. Wright, Abstract Only.